well, there's a lot of big things that have been going on at Marvel Studios, especially in the last week. And now we've got a new report that many of these movements are creating a much different picture moving forward, and there's some title changes that could be coming our way. Let's talk about the big changes headed for Secret Wars. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We want to be your place for Marvel and DC news. We do daily videos, and we're going to go out of our way to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are really in the know. Well, over the course of the last week, there's been some big changes, and a lot of it seems to be impacting Secret Wars. Now, yesterday, we found out that Destin Daniel Creighton will no longer be directing the Kang Dynasty. And that combined with multiple reports that Marvel is moving away from Kang as a villain, well, this has drawn a lot of questions. Now, Creighton will stick with Marvel Studios. He's definitely doing that Shang-Chi sequel. He's got his Wonder Man show that got confirmed by the trade yesterday to be still alive, and it'll be under that Marvel Spotlight banner. And he's got another unnamed project, which I find just as interesting as those two. Now, at this point, Marvel is obviously going to have to find another director for Avengers 5. And we got an interesting report via Jeff Snyder on how this is going to work out. This comes via Snyder and the Hot Mike podcast. It's not from Kevin Feige. So we're going to take it with a grain of salt. Snyder is one of those scoopers that doesn't hide behind anonymity, so we definitely like to listen to what he has to say. And his track record kind of speaks for itself because he's done great work in the past. Now, what he is saying is that Kevin Feige definitely wants the same directors for both the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, making it essentially a two-parter, just like Infinity War and Endgame was directed by the Russo brothers. Now, based on everything that's happened in the last couple weeks, it does seem clear that Marvel will take steps to move away from that Kang storyline, which could include replacing Jonathan Majors. Now, we've talked about this on this channel, and I'm not sure that's such a great idea, but if they do choose to ditch the villain, it's pretty clear they're going to have to focus on another big multiverse bad, and many people are speculating that could be Doctor Doom. If you don't have a Kang character in a Kang dynasty, that really begets a name change, and according to Snyder, he actually thinks they definitely are going to change the name of the movie, and it could be Secret Wars Part 1 and Secret Wars Part 2. Now, I don't know about that, but it is possible. But remember, we talked the other day about some of those trademarks Marvel was holding on to, and although they relinquished several of them, including like the Runaways and Nomad, one of the ones they held on to was Avengers Eternity War. And that would pair up nicely with Secret Wars as a title. Now, as for who the director could be, well, that is the multi-billion dollar question. We have previously heard that the studio was looking at some of their tried and tested filmmakers from some of their former movies, including Jon Favreau, Ryan Coogler, or even Sam Raimi, who, according to multiple reports, was one of their top choices. Now, given how long the MCU was taking to get back on its feet and get moving forward again, I think there's a much better choice here. And it has to be obvious to everybody in the room. If Marvel wants Secret Wars to be a home run, they need to go back to the people who hit home runs, and nobody hit more home runs than the Russo brothers. The two films are pretty far out, and the Russo brothers have made it clear they wanted a break, and they've gotten it, and they have expressed a lot of interest in Secret Wars. Honestly, when you look at the Infinity Saga and Marvel's best films, their stuff is all right at the top. And to have them come back to direct Secret Wars would be a huge win for Marvel Studios, and probably one of the only sure-fired ways they can pull this off and get comparable or better success than they got with Infinity War and Endgame. Now, Kang Dynasty was originally scheduled to drop May 1st, 2026, with Secret Wars May 7th, 2027. But honestly, guys, I expect both of these to be shifted back a full year, given some of the more recent delays, giving the Russo brothers even more time to come back to the table. Let's all hope that happens.